Welcome everyone to the first ever Disney Draft Challenge with Thunderdex84. Your favorite Twitch TV streamers, Jesse and Steven, will be bringing you the action and giving you their picks right now. Let's do it! Hey there, I'm Jesse and this is Steven of Thunderbex84. Today we're doing the draft of Disney movies for the month of December. What are we doing, Steven? Well, we're watching one Disney movie every day. Every day. And we're gonna pick these movies um, in draft, sports draft style. Yes, I get 15. And I get 15. Yes, and we're gonna watch them all December, one yes. movie a day, because why? Because 2020 sucks. sucks. That was good. We didn't even practice that. <laughs> Hopefully, um, some Disney movies will get us all in the holiday spirit. Will be uplifting. I haven't seen a lot of Disney movies though, so I don't know if they're all going to do that. Yeah. I feel like a lot of them are kind of sad. Some of them are. Like the old ones, I feel like are sad. But I feel like for the most part, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. We're going to Scrooge the crap out of them. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. So we're going to okay. pick our team. We're going to have 15 picks each total of 30 and then um we're gonna see who has the best list the criteria will be anything from disney or pixar no marvel and no star wars yeah and no nat geo although you know they probably have some uplifting movies i'm sure they do um i'm sure people debate we're not here for debates it. no um even star wars has a holiday special here i mean you know how are you gonna put lights on the Death Star? Yeah, we're not watching that. Maybe we'll watch that as like a bonus. It's not I mean, called it look, Christmas it looks, Star. It looks kind of happy. It's that Legos. guy looks like Prune Face Mc Prune Chin. And uh, Death Man's He's giving him, him a, a facelift for Christmas. <sighs> I doubt it. So, Disney, Pixar, anything from these two? Yep. We want you guys to tell us which team ends up being the best. And we also encourage you to make your own draft with your. Yes. Friends do this and loved ones. At home. Or just by yourself. Share your list. With your cat. What's your top 15 Disney movies? But see, that's what happens in a draft. Somebody will pick something that you wanted. So, like, you know what I'm saying? And we don't know what the other is picking. That's true. Um, in the so, end, we both win because we're both going to have to watch them together. All right. So, you ready? I think so. You have a, you have a list. I do. It's not fully 15 because I was like, you know what? I don't want to commit because oh, I don't know what so you're you, picking. You've got only like 10 or 12 and then you've got, you're just going to leave some open for some wild cards. Yes. Usually you would do the opposite. You would have like a list of it's 20. like 30. Yeah. 30. And then I, if I, I pick one of yours, you have some backups. I've never done a sports draft. Um, by predetermined random draw. <laughs> Which I just made up. Oh, really? Um, I'm going to go first. Oh, really? Now, nah, you know what? You can go first. How convenient. You can go first. Oh, no. You already said. I, I already I already know what I'm picking first, and I know that you know what I'm already picking first. So, well, then go ahead and pick it. You want me to just get it out there? Go ahead and pick okay. it. I got to go Brrr, with are we doing that? my man. <laughs> my main dude. <laughs> Look at his nose. Aladdin. I mean, it's got a, it's got Aladdin. It's got a monkey. It's got a monkey. It's got a genie. Uh, genie. Who's hilarious. It's got great songs. It's got a carpet. It's got a carpet. Who has its own personality? It's got it's Jafar. Got a, it's got a tiger. I like the tiger. It's got everything. Jasmine. Gorgeous. Always wanted that hair. Yeah. Who doesn't want that hair? Harem pants. Always wanted harem pants. Harem pants. Yeah. I, thought you, I thought you were saying hair and pants. Like, that's a low bar to reach but i I'm had sure very I, low bar as a child hair and pants when's the last time you saw aladdin probably within the last five years yeah yeah i i remember i watched it online and um for some reason the it was sped up just slightly because i could tell because the song keys were off and then i googled the runtime of the movie and Match that up with the one I was watching, and the one I was watching was a little shorter. And I was oh, like, bam! That work. Well, I just had to know, you know. I was like, these songs sound different than I remember them. Just slightly, though. What's the deal? Turns out they were going a little fast. Okay. Fun fact: I'm a nerd. Music nerd. You're on the you're on the clock, as they say. Pick number one. Pick number one for Team Jesse. It's my childhood favorite. Not entirely uh, sure how to find it. Um, oh, there it is. Da, 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 da. Sleeping, Sleeping Beauty. Beauty. You got the beauty. 
she's sleeping. <laughs> You've got the, the three <laughs> the three fairy godmothers who are adorable. You got some prince. I don't really care about him. You got a night when they all get drunk and it's funny. You've also got a really cool bad lady who eventually gets her own movie apparently. And I just Princess Aurora, that's such a pretty name. I always wished that my name was Aurora as a kid. That's all I wanted. Please let my name be Aurora and have hair and pants. And then your middle name is going to be Borealis? Nope. Okay. That's only trash TV, people. <laughs> um, trash. The kiss of her true love could wake her. Is that the one with the apple? No, that's Snow White. Disney really loved it when chicks were passed out. And the only thing that would wake them up is some dude. Our 17 minute runtime too. That's what's funny about Disney movies. Sometimes like the movie is like 65 minutes. I'm like, come on, Disney. That's barely a movie. What? No, it was. They had to draw those things. Whatever. Not impressed. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Pick number two. What do you got? Is it Ichabod and Mr. Toad? No, I got one. <gasps> oh. For pick number two, I think a newer-ish classic from Pixar. A newer-ish I'm going to go with Toy Story. Toy Story? Yep. Did not see that coming. No? What did you think? I have no idea. I got some good ones. All right. I really like the aliens from this movie. And the kid who tortures his toys. Sid? That's, that's cool, too. Do what? That's cool, too. I mean, the toys are pretty cool. Look, they got something called Small Fry. I'm going to pick that next. Little, little baby buzz. It's it's your call, man. <laughs> All right, anyway. That's my pick. Tangent. Pick two for Team Jesse. What you got? I'm going to go with another one of my classics. Oh, man. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'll do that. <laughs> Nightmare Before <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> not too sure of that pick. I think I'll do that. Well, I mean, it's on my list. I just wasn't sure in what order. Disney wanted Tim Burton to do this, and then afterward they were like, <sighs> That was yeah. a mistake. Ooh, so they didn't like it? Oh, it's kind of weird. Oh, yeah. I remember but when, I love it. I remember when this movie came out, I was like young. I didn't want to go see it because it seemed creepy. I love creepy. Well, there you go. I think a it's lot of people my faves. Love. Cult classic. I had a poster. I had a crush on Jack Skellington. It's like, I just need to find myself a tall, creepy guy. It's got some decent music, too, yes. You're yeah. Like, I don't care about that. I was saying you were tall and creepy. Oh. I was implying that. I don't feel like I'm either of those things. Yeah, I guess you're not that Definitely tall. not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, that's a good pick. I definitely wasn't going to pick it. Pick three. Pick three. Stevie. Is it Disney? Or is it Pixar? It's like Walt Disney Animation Studios and then additional animated movies. Yeah, those are like the knockoffs. Are they? No, I don't know. Mars Needs Moms. It's like these are the ones they want to showcase, but then they're like, also, if you're looking for these. Also, we kind of made these too. They're but, here. But uh, we're not exactly proud of them. <laughs> we about to find Nemo. That my pick. All right. Runtime hour 43 minutes. What? They started making real movies in 2003. <laughs> I forgot they made Up. Oh, man. I'm picking that next. Oh, man. I <laughs> I've never seen up. up. Isn't that sad, though? I don't know. Don't tell me which ones are sad. Oh, man. I'm definitely going to pick some sad ones and not realize it and uh, regret it immediately. Disney can just. Doesn't the like, old guy die or something? Can shit? rip your freaking feels out. And then be like, it's fine. You're like, no. No, Disney, it's not. They're like, well, just come on down to Walt Disney World and spend $800 on... Forgetting about it. Cotton candy. <laughs> You'll feel <sighs> much better. That's my pick. I did not see that coming. You don't see none of my... Like, what do you expect me to pick? I don't know. I don't watch Disney. Like, none of Death these... Death and destruction. I, I have to pick something. That's true. I mean, I don't expect this whole thing from you, so there we go. Yeah. This okay. is New Year, New Me. You know what I'm saying? But it's 2020 still. New Year, New Nemo. It won't be, though. Twenty. <laughs> like, we're going into 2021. <sighs> oh, okay. Super rejuvenated. Got it. Got it. Via Disney. All right. Pick number four. Or 
No, what do you want? I'm pick, on three. Pick number three for the J squad. They didn't make Space Jam, did they? No way. Damn it. So I thought they made the original Brave Little Toaster. You know, I don't think they did. But how did they make Brave Little because Toaster Goes to Mars? They just acquired it, like the rights to make more Brave Little Toasters movies. That seems like a horse poop of doo-doo. I mean, you want to search it? Just search it real quick. Yeah, you type it out. Brave to the rescue. Yes. That's, that's the what one. I want. Okay. Brave little toaster to the rescue. 1999. There's, there was, was there not some before then? That's, this is 1999. There has to be an older one than that, no? There is a, yeah. So they don't have that. Yeah. Toaster and the gang discover their new animal pals from the veterinary hospital about to be sent to a testing laboratory. <laughs> Brave little Taylor. No. Also just Brave. Is that newer? Brave? That's like that pretty is popular. Newer. Yeah. Is it good? Let's watch that. You picking that? I'm gonna pick Brave. <laughs> In a surprising turn of events, <laughs> decides we didn't to have drop the toaster. <laughs> just drops the little toaster and goes with straight Brave. <laughs> Merida, I like Merida. She's pretty cool. She, she shoots stuff with arrows. She's pretty much a D&D &D character. She's a good role model. She's got good hair. Don't know about her pants, but the hair's there. So I'm picking Brave. All right. Dropping the toaster. What's your number four? They're all animated thus far, yes? Yep. Well, one's claymation-ish. Stop animation, but yes. Um. Actually, I'm gonna go with uh, this. I'm gonna go with Robin Hood. Ooh. That's that's my fourth pick. I liked that one. Yeah. Is that the one where they, they shoot the arrow and it like splits the other arrow in half? Possibly. Because he's like baller at archery and they don't even know what's up with that. I, he does enter a contest. Yeah, that's what happens. I, I really liked Maid Marion, yes. I, I don't know that. who that is. <laughs> it's like, I just like that scene yeah. with that arrow. It's like... Do you remember any other characters? Nope. I, just that arrow. I don't remember a lot of these. Uh, Robin Hood, number four. Yep. That's your number four. Okay. I saw this. I forgot that this was Disney Pixar. Oh my gosh. Inside Out. Is that your pick? You're going to cry 15 times. Piss. And it's going to be great. Depression is like my favorite character, and Joy is my favorite character. Oh my gosh. There's a character that's depression? Yep. See that blue one? That's yeah. depression. What the flip? When 11 year old oh. Riley moves to a new my city, gosh. her emotions team up to help her through the transition. Joy, fear, anger, disgust, and sadness work together. But sadness. when joy and sadness get lost, they must journey through unfamiliar places together. <gasps> oh my gosh. Her feelings are on a journey. Yes, they are. And now our feelings will also be on a journey with them. Yep. All right, where do we want? Pick five? Pick five, Steven. Pick five. God. These are up for grabs too, yes? I mean, they're in Disney. They are. Okay. I'm going to get I'm gonna get the live action going here. What's it going to be? It's going to be... <laughs> Hell yeah! Feel the rhythm! Feel the ride! <laughs> get on up! It's bobsled time! <laughs> if you didn't pick it, I was Cool going to. runnings! We're breaking the live action barrier. Cool Runnings, pick five. I can't believe they made that. That's my pick. The Jamaican's on a bobsled. Yes. Other so. favorite. Classic. So good. You want to kiss my lucky egg? Mm, hard, hard pass. All right, I got my top five. You dropped the really, mic? Not really top five. Them are my first five picks. But it's supposed to be your top five, right? I don't know. <laughs> so pick five. It's hard. What you got? It's hard. I think for the sheer amount of songs I can sing to. Yeah. The Lion King. Some Elton John. Not. I don't. That's not my favorite one. 
Yeah, mine either, actually. I love Elton John, um, but not that song. Yeah, not really my jam. Uh, everything else, though. Love it. So much. How Damn. many Lion Kings The Lion they King have? one and a half. What does that even mean? The Lion Guard. Oh, that's, see, that's Disney Junior. That's like, that's really for kids. Not the stuff we're picking. This is like adult, Yeah, adult adults stuff. can watch this. Yeah. We're fine. <laughs> Timon and Pumbaa got a little spinoff. Did it? That's good. Way to go, guys. We knew you could do it. <laughs> the top five picks are in. The top five we're picks? We're going to do a recap now. Let's check them out. <laughs> Here's what we got. The top picks, <laughs> Sleeping Beauty and Aladdin. Nightmare um, Before Christmas and Toy Story. You read the next one. Jesse line. went with Brave instead of uh, the Brave Little Toaster. Yeah. It's like you... I had to cut my losses. It's like you were at the grocery store and were looking for one product, but then like saw another one and you are like, that'll do, whatever. Yeah. Like, I was looking for a toothbrush, but instead I got a hairbrush. Or a toilet brush. Sure. <laughs> Any of those, I guess, would have worked. <laughs> um, and then Inside Out and Robin Hood. Yes. And then to round it out. I, I, I broke from the um, animated things and picked Cool Runnings. And I picked Lion King. You starting us off with a... Um, do you want to go first? I went first. Oh, is the first. that how it works? Okay. I... I'm going to go first. Yeah, you go ahead and go first. You go. You can go first the next five. Jesse's sixth pick. What? I don't know. You're picking your sixth thing now. How many more times do you want to try? Because I'm, I'm into this. Sixth. I after a while. am into it. Six. Pick. I don't know where it is. A uh, little steamboat, Willie. <gasps> Muppet Treasure Island. Muppet Treasure Island. All right. Steven doesn't sound excited. You know, I don't know. I always remember the Muppet movies being kind of boring. And they're long. Well, hour and 41 minutes. Suck it. Well, are you going to pick? Oh. Why don't you pick Christmas Carol? I didn't see that they had it. Too late. You already said it. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> see, how long is this one? I feel like, oh, that's not an hour and 26 minutes. Okay. Well, can I, can I, you want can that? I take it you back? You want that instead? Yeah. All right. I'll allow it. Muppet. You get Christmas. one redo. Okay. Muppet Christmas Carol. Starting it off with the, with the Christmas. Yay. For picks number six. Yay. Ooh, like a Muppet. <gasps> There we go. <gasps> your turn. What's your pick number six from this list over here? Let me peruse. Um, I'm going to go with uh, The Jungle Book. The Jungle Book! I only remember one part from that, too. They made that live action, did they not? Is it this one? Did they? Yeah. I think it's that. Yeah, it's I'm not comfortable with 2016. that 2016. Yeah, it's pretty big. <laughs> so all right, Jungle Book. That my uh, sixth pick. Love it. All right, pick seven. Dude, the Pied Piper looks creepy. A little bit. Feeling very confused. So how do I find if it's? And first of all, isn't every Disney movie a musical? Essentially. I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen. We're gonna find out. I haven't really seen that many, and I don't remember a lot of them. I'm pretty sure every single like, one has. Wreck it, Lilo and Stitch, does that have music? Of course it. Yeah? Wait, I don't know. Um, what was it, Wreck-It Ralph? It, that's probably not a musical. Is there music in that? I feel like it does. Okay, I know that I saw this. I know I did. You want to type in EMP? Ayo! Um, the Emperor's New Groove. I know nothing about it. Oh, that's good. Okay. Who's that guy, Dave? The comedian. Chappelle? No. Nah. Uh, Tell? He's, he's short. He's from the 90s. He's got blonde hair. Is he in it? Yeah. He's the voice of the llama. David Spade. David Spade. Okay. It was my description pretty all right? I, when you said short. comedian, I thought stand-up comic. David Spade was a stand-up I guess comic. He, I guess he was. Then he had shows. Okay. And then he was in all those really bad movies with uh, those guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway. I don't know what it was called anymore. There's a two, though. That's my pick number seven. Grown Ups. I think it was called Grown Ups. Grown Ups. Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> pick seven. 
Why is that funny? I don't know. You just <laughs> grown ups. Emperor's new groove. <laughs> That's a cut. I cut it into it. it. Sure. I was. cut it into it. Number seven. Number seven for you, Steven. Oh, I'm on number seven. You are. Snap. I was gonna maybe go for, go for um, go for a steal. What's a steal? I'm just gonna steal one from you. Uh oh. Maybe. I'm surprised you haven't picked it already. I got plans, man. You don't even know about my plans. You know about when I do that. <gasps> oh. Yeah. The little what mermaid. you got, Ariel? Ariel. <laughs> Ariel? Princess Ariel. Am I not allowed to pick it anymore? I don't know her name. I don't know if it's Ariel or Ariel. Oh, now you're trolling me. We'll find out how the crowd says I it. I want to see the one with the penis on the cover. <laughs> Steven, buy it for me on eBay. Okay. Who, the fu who the fuck is this little mermaid too? What? Who the fuck? So she the Little Mermaid 2. That's creepy. That's her kid. Oh. That she made she... with Eric. Gross. Where is her birth canal? Gro How do mermaids have kids? Oh, their belly button. Is that real? Where do they poop? These are great questions. These are Disney great questions. Never answered. Um. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Where's that kid's book? How do mermaids poop? We gotta make it. Done. It's gonna be ten pages. Will be. Um, it's gonna be a book that's like the size of a trapper keeper, and we'll sell it for twenty-five bucks. Moving on. All right. <laughs> pick eight. You're on eight. Pick eight. I'm gonna pick Princess and the Frog. I have not seen it. Okay, but what's up with this little? What's up with this fella? I don't know. We're gonna find out. A I guess. dude. I guess it's a, a light bug. What do you call them things? Lightning bug. Lightning bug, because its butt is a giant. Yeah. Or is that the sun? I don't know. I've never seen it. You know, that's a good call. It looks. I thought that was its we'll butt. We'll find out. I didn't think that was the sun. I thought it was a mosquito, but now that I see that it might have a lightning butt. Yeah. Well, look. See, it's got a trail of light, like it's flying around. Or is that just I don't know. For and yeah, it might be atmospheric. Know. We're going to find out. We've never seen it. But. We're going with a, a new one for both I, of us. Anyway, Princess and the Frog. Pick number eight. For Team Stevie Gogo. -Go. What's Stevie Gogo? -Go? No idea. You get to pick your team name. <gasps> Stevie and the Gogo -Go Kids. <laughs> uh. No? Uh, Stevie and the Go-Go Bunch? Slightly concerned about it. Yeah. What on Wasn't Earth? there like a surfing penguin movie or something? You know what I'm talking about? Probably not Disney. Probably wasn't. Oh, now we're hitting the internet. I'm, I surf's up. But that probably wasn't Disney, I guess. Nope, probably not. Well, fudge. Clearly, he did not do his draft homework. I did not. I, I knew I wasn't. I, you know, we <laughs> cleaned it up in post. <laughs> Oh no, that's getting included. I'm the editor. <laughs> that's getting included. <laughs> Is Moana about surfing? <laughs> kind of. I might settle for that. Kind of, yes. I'm gonna pick Moana in hopes that it's um, got some fun surfing in it. Yeah, that chicken's pretty cool. Yeah, I've never seen it. Rooster? Whatever it is. Underwater rooster. Moana. Looks pretty, pretty solid. This guy looks like he's a laugh riot. <laughs> I don't know about in that photo. And if you don't think he's funny, he will punch you through a wall. Yes. He'll punch you through five walls. And because it's Disney, the wall hole will be shaped like you. Yeah. So like it's the okay. Kool-Aid man. Violence is okay. Uh, that's my pick. <laughs> I'm on pick nine. All right. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. Sending it. I'm gonna send it. We're going up, man. I'm gonna see Carl's adventure. I'm down. I'm down for up. I mean, it's cute. It's cute. I'll get turned up. Yeah. For up. Turn down for what? Turn down for up. Yeah. Turn down for up. I like how you just keep letting me go with that. I was gonna 
Just keep on keeping on. We'll keep going. I ran out. What's up? Up's up. That's that's all I got now. Okay. <laughs> You're on number nine. Number nine for Stevie Fun Time. I thought and it was Apple Stevie, Juice. Stevie Go Go. Stevie Fun Time and Apple Juice. <gasps> we should drink apple juice while we watch these, like five year olds. Uh, and eat Lunchables? <gasps> the pizza one? Ugh. <laughs> Why? That's not even a th that's not even food. That's like cardboard. It's like a soggy cracker with tomato paste. Ugh. That's yeah, it wasn't a lot even like sugar. marinara. It was like tomato paste. Literally um, tomato paste. I, Terrible. This, this jumped out at me. I have seen it. I think it was good. <laughs> the Incredibles. Oh. You just want to watch that thick mama. <laughs> I've seen the memes. I've seen some memes now that you say that. I've seen the memes. Well, we're watching all three. Oh, this one's almost two hours. Look at you go, Disney. Steven wants that thick mama. The Incredibles are down with the thickness. Oh, wow. I forget. I've seen it. I don't remember. Oh, oh. That's my pick. Pick number nine. You yeah. on 10? I'm on 10. All right. Send it. All right. To 10 Town. I think I'm going to do Hercules. Hercules. I don't know if I've seen that one. I think it's funny. That's I a good enough reason for me. I think I remember it being funny. Like the little, the little, uh, I can't remember what they're called. Cherub? Seder? I don't know. Cherub. Is that, what's that? The little heart dude? Cherub is an angel. Oh, that's the little, the little love angel dude. Yeah. The little guy. Yeah. I think that's a satyr. He's the opposite. A satyr? Yeah, I think so. Sounds legitimate. Yeah. I remember it being funny. I with a mohawk. Like I do like the Pegasus. That's pretty baller. I think I had a little Pegasus toy that came in like a kid's meal or something. I enjoyed it thoroughly. So yeah. All right. From zero to hero. And I liked, oh, I can't remember her Coming name. Coming of age. That's a genre. Grecian Beauty Meg. Is it? That's Are the, they all not? Yeah, that's a lot of them have said coming of age. Okay. Yeah. Oh um, yeah, and it's Danny DeVito. That's who it oh, was. Oh, okay. As the voice of the little guy? Yeah. That's fun. So my number 10, Hercules. What do you got? So I'm on my... For my your number 10. 10th pick. I mean, I'm going to go with something that... What is it? Ooh. This is like... Th it's, I'm going back to the to my, my roots, you know? And I got to go with my boy Aladdin again. <laughs> Aladdin 2. Is it Aladdin 2? Yes. I think so. Wait, 94, 92, 94, 96. Yeah. 94. Okay. The Return of Jafar. I don't know, man. See, like, see, the thing is, he was in the first movie, but then, like, he comes back. So like, it's two. Where did he go away the first time? It's more Jafarier. Did he? Yeah, he gets locked in the lamp, right? Did he, he wants to be a genie. Spoiler alert. So I like, like he's got a real good eyeliner. Like I can't even do it that good. Is that eyeliner or like that's supposed to be his eyelashes? I don't know. I don't know either. His eyebrows are a little scary. A little bit. Okay. Got a massive unibrow going. Return to Jafar. No, no, no. It, it breaks. There's a break. Okay. It breaks. I stand corrected. Yeah. You got two Aladdins on your list. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's fair. That's my pick. Pick 10. Aladdin 2. The Re Return of Jafar. Return of Jafar. That time when he came back from and whence he had came. Did his eye makeup like, whoa. Let's check the old recap. I did the Muppet Christmas Carol. The Emperor's New Groove. The Princess and the Frog. Up. Oh. And Hercules. And I picked The Jungle Book, The Little Mermaid, Moana, The Incredibles, and Aladdin 2, The Return of Jafar. You ready for this? Am I going first? I'll, we'll go back to me going first for the last five. I guess so. What do you got? Pick number 11. Boom, Aladdin 3. 
<gasps> Aladdin and the King of Thieves. We get to watch them get married. Iago's even in on this one. He's all, he's a good guy now. Iago, Iago. Iago. Asiago. Asiago, cheese. Cheese bird. I remember Aladdin 3 being funny. Now I get to see if my memories were false memories. She's not wearing pants anymore though. She's still got the hair. Yeah, her eyes look kind of creepy. She does kind of look a little crazy there. Yeah, she kind of does. I'm finally getting married. <laughs> <laughs> It's my big day! I was almost 25! <laughs> Steven! <laughs> Stressful being a woman! Sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, he looks kind of different too, though. That's like he a stand-in Aladdin right there. That's not even him. That's that's more like Eric from uh, Little Mermaid. Yeah. It's like a combo. Anyway, yeah, we're going to find out how funny it is. Aladdin. And Aladdin 3! I wrote down Aladdin and the King of Things. <laughs> That's actually Aladdin 4. <laughs> Aladdin and the King of Thing. We don't uh, care anymore. It's just... Yeah. Let's see if they own up to this. What am I typing? P-O-C. Hey! Pocahontas. Pocahontas. Have you ever heard Wolf Cry? To the Blue Corn Moon? Is Steven. That, is that the, that's the lyrics, yeah. Have you Have ever you? seen the blah, 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 Yes. Yeah. I okay. wanted a raccoon friend. Who doesn't? Ever since I was a kid. I mean, people who have seen raccoons. I've seen a bunch of them. And know that they're like scary and have rabies and stuff. They're also super smart. They and are. they use their hands to like sense things and, and that's how they smell. They're trash pandas. What? Yeah. I watched a documentary on raccoons because I have that kind of time. And the hummingbird, I never particularly liked birds, because birds are like bugs to me. They're like, bugs birds? can't do damage, yeah. Birds can do damage. Bugs can do damage. Mm. They literally have stingers. Yeah, but that'll like hurt you for two seconds. A bird can like poke out your eyeball. Anyway. I guess that's true, I never really thought of that. Yeah. I've never been scared of birds though. They mind their own business, that's the difference. Bugs get right up in your face like, hey, what's going on? If you come at me, I'm going to hurt you. But I'm also in your space. That's why I hate bugs. But anyway, I used to love this movie. I had a doll of Pocahontas, but it wasn't like a normal Barbie. It was like this big. And her hair was super nice and soft. And oh man, played with that doll all the time. So Pocahontas. Pocahontas. Long story short. Pick number 12 for me. I'm back on the, on the clock here. You only got four more. Four more. Yep. And you already did Cool Runnings, so I'm not sure what you're going to do. I'm actually looking for Cool Runnings 2. <laughs> did um, they make one? Yeah. This time they get the gold. Okay. I forgot that they played sports, and so I was like, dude, why were they looking for gold? <laughs> That's awesome. That's it. It's the, the Jamaicans who become gold miners. <laughs> okay. You don't remember? No, but I would buy into this. Oh, I forgot Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, man, I, I don't, I, I can't get into these pirate With what's movies. his face? They were all right. I don't know what it is. Pirate movies to me, I just can't get into them. <laughs> Peter Pan either. There's some classics here we have not picked. I know. Do you, are we, are you pulling those out? You don't have to worry about my picks. Do all right. Then. Worry about your pick. <laughs> You're out of Aladdin, I think. I am out of Aladdin. I'm looking for another one. It's not there. You can search. <laughs> I should. To see, just to see what else they got going on. <laughs> The live action one. That's the only one I didn't pick. We'll throw that in as a bonus if we're feeling frisky on one of these days. Because I wouldn't mind watching it just to see what they did. Um, I'm going to go with this. All right. He looks like a fun guy. He is a fun guy. And he, he wrecks stuff. I like wrecking stuff. <laughs> I've wrecked many a thing. In my day. And um, that, I can't remember her name, but that little girl is voiced by Sarah Silverman. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought that was the other Who one. Who you though. love. Minions? What? Do they, oh, they don't make minions, do they? No. Oops. Delete um. it. <laughs> <laughs> Edit it out. But there's little, there's a little girl like, that looks like this in that, is there not? Yeah, there's like three of them. Okay. 
At so least. wreck it, Ralph. I like that's, it. That's my uh, 12th pick. That's your 12th pick. You've got okay. three more. Three more. Man, this is tough. Right? This it, is tough. Like, are you are you running out of movies? Or no, I'm not. I gotta have, narrow it down. You have some good ones left, and you're like, oh man, I gotta choose now. Well, some of them, like, I wanna watch. One I wanna watch, because I haven't seen it. It's not really Christmassy, but I wanna see it. One of them is like, I wanna make you watch Frozen, so I'm gonna do that right now. Okay. Which isn't sabotage. I. It's not revenge. Well, I'll watch it because I don't know what it is. It's it's pop culture. Yeah. Education. That's fine. I I need. And that. also, it's Christmassy. I didn't pick any Christmas movies. So. I don't think. So Frozen is my twelfth pick. All right, Stephen. Lucky number thirteen. Is there anything in Pixar that I missed that jumped out at me here? Isn't Monsters Inc. good? This is Monster it University is. is two, I guess. I think it was. I don't recall. I did see it. I don't remember. I almost thought about picking Cars because I never seen that. Neither have I. Bugs Life I never seen, but that does not seem appealing to me. <laughs> but maybe that's gonna be the thing that breaks your bug phobia. Probably for a split second, and then they'll do that thing again where they get in my face. That all goes out the window. Oh, okay. I thought maybe. I think I'm gonna go for another steal here and go with another classic. Uh oh. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I did. I did not have that one in my list. You didn't. Damn it! I wasted a pick. Not really. Too late. It's a classic. It is a classic. I look at this big cuddly guy. It's just such a weird. It's weird. So weird like I'm forcing you here to let your father go and you will fall in love with me it's so weird it's just weird so it's like um what's that thing where you fall in love with your captor I at the Stockholm syndrome that I uh, yeah I guess okay is this the one with the candlestick this feels yeah okay I'm on board see yeah that was that was fun too <laughs> like Chip and the dresser and the clock and all yeah, that stuff Chip singing and, and dancing uh, around and mother teapot oh yeah and the teapot anyway that's my pick all right, I what like it. What was that, 13? 13? 13, you got two more. Okay, uh, you are up now. Your 13th pick of the 2020 Disney Draft. Lilo and Stitch. See, he has a guitar, so it definitely has to be a musical. Oh, she's got a surfboard. Oh, okay. It's, uh, it's a win for everyone. It's a win for everyone, yep. It's not a guitar, it's a ukulele, by the it way. It is a ukulele. I know stuff. He's a science experiment. I've seen it once. I don't recall. Okay. And it has a nice positive message to it. Move it on. Um, All right. What am I on? I'm on 14. You're on 14. You've only got oh, two. Man, two more. You've only got two. The Fox and the Hound has not been picked, correct? It has not. But that's sad? I just recall it being super depressing, but I don't know. Because if it's sad, I don't want to see it. I don't, I don't want to pick it. I recall it being super depressing. Like, are they buddies? But like, does one of them get murdered? I think one of them dies. Like, this one goes missing, and then I think one of them dies. Ugh. Yeah. No Disney. No. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do it. My 14th pick. I'm gonna go with Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. This fun guy and that fun guy. And Boo. The little scaredy girl. I wanted to be Boo for Halloween. You just wear a t-shirt and pigtails. Hair, I, no pants. I don't recommend doing that. I mean, we celebrate. Were you going to a party or are you going to go door to door? We celebrated Halloween in our house by ourselves, so. Oh, okay. Monsters, Inc. I like it. I got I to think of my last movie here. It's got to be a real good one. Dude. I already picked Aladdin 3, though, so I don't know what I'm going to end up with. <laughs> it's tough. Your life's, your life's tough right now, Steven. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, man. What? How did I not know that was a thing? Peach Dragon? Do you remember that? Um, I've heard of it. I don't know if I've ever seen it. Why aren't any of these things coming up? Oh, they remade that too live action, apparently. That's way... That looks awful. <laughs> Come on now, that looks amazing. That it will be my last pick now. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Pan. You picking Peter Pan? Peter Pan, I you am. You done did it to me. I feel like you're not giving it a chance. I feel like you've just painted Actually, this picture 
of what was it? What was it called? Hook. Hook. That's all you've painted it with. This is Peter Pan. Okay. This is different. It's only an hour and nineteen minutes. I think I can. I think I can do it. You have such a weird obsession with minutes and movies. <laughs> like, okay, fine. Yeah. Pick fourteen. Peter pick fourteen. Pan. Peter Pan. I am on my last pick. You are indeed about to round it out. You started, may I remind you, with Aladdin. Yes. And now you have the great task of ending your draft. How Steven and the go-go team of applesauce kids will you end your draft? Apple juice. Apple juice kids. The AJ bunch. <laughs> That's fun. I think I got yeah. one in mind. I had a I had a couple in mind. Okay. I think I got it. All right. We're doing it. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Perf. 1937. This one's a, this is a pretty old one. I think that was one of the originals. Okay. Well, there's a good way to end it. I want to see these little dwarfs, all seven of them. Um I want to laugh at their jokes. I want them to cheer me up. Damn it, I did not realize. See? Alice in oh, Wonderland Alice in, comes well, up. There you go. But we I should have, have really something else in mind. <laughs> All right, Snow White, that's my pick. You are now down to your 15th and final draft choice. Well, let's hear your thought process. I mean, unless you don't want to. I had one in mind, and okay. then I completely forgot about Alice in Wonderland until. Until there. Boom, she pops up right there. We did not do our draft scouting. I did we not. Didn't. Remember. See, the, the draft, there, there's guys that go out and scout. There's scouting reports they put together. You read up yeah. on stuff. We, did we not. only visited the big top schools. We didn't That's visit. That's exactly what happened. The little schools. Yeah. Gosh. We'll do it again next year. Gosh almighty. So here's Alice in Wonderland. Let me just, let me just weigh and measure real quick. So there's okay. Alice in Wonderland. That's the new one I'm considering. Okay. Then the other one I was considering is a sleeper. I feel like it's a sleeper classic that a lot of people forget. Do you remember this? Disney Treasure Planet, no. Or maybe I was remembering this. I think this. Yeah. Okay. So you got Atlantis, The Lost Empire, or Alice in Wonderland? Those Is that your toss up now? Well, now I'm confused. Because was it Atlantis oh. or was it this one? I don't know. Secret map inspires a thrilling treasure hunt across the universe as a young Jim Hawkins and John Silver, the ship's cyborg cook, set off in search of their destiny. Okay, definitely wasn't Do you remember a cyborg cook? No. Okay, then. Do you remember a crew of archaeologists and explorers led by historian Milo Thatch board an incredible submarine and head deep into the mysteries of the sea in search of the legendary kingdom of Atlantis? Yes. But. No. It's gonna be Alice in Wonderland, because boo on that noise. Where'd she go? I don't know. Oh, there she is. is. She touching that doorknob nose. You have to give it a big, a good turn, because one good turn deserves another. Is that what it says? Yep, I've seen that movie a lot. I, it's I, I'm sure I've seen it. I don't remember anything about it though. You did it. I can't believe I forgot about it. Let's see the recap. The final list here. So I started with Aladdin and left it. Uh, I stopped on Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Two classics, I think, anyway. Yeah. And you started with Sleeping Beauty and ended on Alice in Wonderland. Also two classics. So we got like a nice classic Disney sandwich. We got a good sandwich. Yes. And we've got two moderns in the middle with uh, Princess and the Frog and Moana. So... I think we're set up to win. You didn't pick a live action. M the Muppets Christmas Carol is like the closest yeah. live action that you have. I wanted to pick Maleficent, but okay. not very uplifting. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it either. I wanted to see it, but it just didn't fit anywhere into my list. I, yeah, it's hard. I mean, 15 movies. I, it is. I, sm I slammed Cool Runnings in mine, though. You did. I had it on my list. Oh, you did. It's uplifting. I thought about Sword in the Stone. And it's fun. Mulan. So let us know what we left off the list, what you definitely would have picked that maybe we didn't pick. Anything we did really good. 
Which was like a lot. Yeah, what do we crush? We got a lot of good stuff. I know I crushed the Aladdin's. That completes all the draft picks for the Disney Draft Challenge for the month of December. The calendar shown is the order in which they will be watched. It's the order that they were drafted in. Make sure you join the Thundervix Discord to vote on the community movie for the 31st of the month. Also be sure to follow Thundervix84 on Instagram as live updates will be happening all month long about each movie. Also find Thundervex84 streaming weekly on Twitch if you want to chat about these draft picks or just gaming in general or if you'd like to play along. Subscribe here on YouTube to check out other videos and be notified of other uploads. Go ahead, do it. Click all those buttons. It's fun. Thank you for watching and we will see you all next time.